So before we get into this video, I want to do a little intro because I didn't have time to do it on the mountain. This is the first day of these guys elk hunt. And we got up there right off in the morning. We got onto this bull and he wasn't talking back to us. He was a little over 600 yards away with a cow. He turned, looked back when the cow called and when we bugled and just no response. He wasn't uh, pressured or hurried. He just stood there on this ledge and looked at us. And so we made the decision to just circle around, get up on top of the ridge. It was still early and we got down in on him and spotted him again at 221 yards. Uh, well, we spotted the cow and I knew he wasn't very far away. So we got down in there. It was really thick as you're going to see. And so once I hit that cow call, I figured he was about 100 yards away and he barked back at us and he just started coming. Like just like a freight train coming up through that heavy brush. And then he held up somewhere between 50 and 60 yards. Uh, figured you could hear him raking a tree and I hit the cow call a couple more times and he started working his way in and he got so close to my hunter that I was afraid that he didn't see him and he was going to run him right over. Uh, so keep an eye out behind the pine tree right in front of the hunter. You'll see him in the, in the video coming up because uh, that's where the bull's at. You'll understand where my concern came from. So here we go. He's not going to be hard to track. That was a five yard shot. Um, when the bull came in, he hit him just before he whirled. And so when you hear me saying hit him again, I had another hunter that was down to my right and farther down that I thought had a clear shot and the bull stopped and stood there. Uh, what I thought he had a, a clear broadside on it. Uh, so I wasn't sure exactly what happened on the other side. I knew a shot had been fired and kind of hard to miss, but with the frontal shots, if guys haven't been practicing them, as it turned out, these guys had practiced quite a bit, and both of them took bulls that week on the frontal shot. The next uh, hunt was, uh, well, I shouldn't say the next hunt, but the next hunter, he ended up taking his at 20 yards with a frontal shot, and that bull only went about 15 yards. This one, because of the angle it was turned, made it about 150 to 200 yards, which ended up working out in our favor, thankfully, except that he died on a really small ledge with about a 15 or 20 foot drop off and that made things difficult but he made it through a lot of really heavy nasty brush that we did not have to cart him out of and so that worked out to our favor but with that turning uh, frontal shot he actually entered in a little bit off to the side and when it came through it we found it kind of under the armpit on the opposite side and so it didn't get a real clean hit on the lungs he holed up 
uh, probably 100 yards away, and then we accidentally bumped him, and he went up to where he, you can see where we found him. And that's where the hunter's saying, let's back out of here and give him a little bit. The bull was down. He wasn't getting up that time, but he was still breathing, and we ended up having to put a couple extra arrows into him just to finish him off and uh, to be humane about it. We didn't want him suffering more than he needed to. But that was a, a really good experience on the frontal shot, um, as well as the next bull. That yes, they are very doable and they are very, very lethal. So hope this helped you all out. Happy hunting.